What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. Now, today we're gonna to talk about grubs or grub worms if you've been searching around because here we are in the spring and I realize some of you have just now gotten out of snow. You're doing your first mow and you're like, you're talking about grubs already? And that's the case because no matter where you live, north, south, east, or west, the prevention time, the time to prevent grubs, to stop them for the season is exactly the same. And that's right now in the late spring. Let me show you the life cycle of grubs. All right, y'all, real quick, let's go through this. Let's look at the lifestyle of grubs. You can see here, lifestyle, life cycle. You can see who you've got here, the months of the year. This is where we are in April, but let's go right here to June. These beetles are often called May-June beetles because, or June bugs because they come out in June. You'll find them in your pool filter or definitely you'll find them on your porch lights. What they do is all during the that month of June and in July, they lay eggs in the lawns, well-watered lawns, and those eggs hatch into small grubs that feed on grass roots to grow. As they feed on grass roots, they get larger and larger. And then when it starts to get cold, depending on where you live, they will go down deep for the winter and then they're down there. And then as we get to the spring where we are now, they come back up. This is, uh, what is this, a pupae, a pupae stage right here. And they're about to hatch here. There is a little feeding that might go on right in here. Then they hatch and they go. I'm not typically worried about the feeding that goes on in here because your grass is growing so vigorously, you usually won't notice it, but some feeding can happen. And then they launch out and now the cycle starts all over. So that's how it works. This is why we're gonna put a preventative down right here, right in this range here. Let's just ruin this drawing. We're gonna put a preventative. We're gonna put a preventative down right in there somewhere, right? So when they get to this point, we've got that preventative down protecting us all during this point. And as you're gonna find out, one of the products we're gonna look at today will actually kill any of these people that are doing any spring feeding. But I just wanna let you know, that is the life cycle of grubs. Now that'll help you as we move forward in this video. All right, so when we talk about products, I'm gonna show you a big box product and a professional formulation, but before we get there, you wanna make sure you get the right thing. So we just went over the life cycle of grubs. Here we are, we're in spring, and we're getting ready to apply. And when you're gonna to go to the store, you're gonna see things like Scott's Grub X, but you might also see this, 24 hour grub killer. This is actually called a corrective, whereas what we're talking about today is a preventative. This product, you can see, 24 hour grub killer. And in fact, on the back here, it reads, this product stops grubs and other listed pests from further damaging your lawn. That's why it's a corrective, to stop further damage. Currently, I'm not experiencing damage. I'm trying to prevent. And that's why I want a product like this one that says seasonal long grub killer. Apply spring to early summer. So just get that straight when you're going to buy your product. Right now we're applying a preventative. And this product here, this 24 hour grub killer, you would use this like in the fall if you actually saw damage or in the rare case here in the late spring, you actually saw damage from last year's grubs. Again, that's when the 24 hour killer comes in. But for purposes of today's video, we're talking about preventing grubs for this coming season. And these are the products that we're gonna look at. First, let's look at the Scott's Grub X that you can get at pretty much any big box store. All right, now the instructions say to apply this to a dry lawn. And this bag covers 5,000 square feet and it costs $32. So I've got about 2,000 here, so I'm gonna use a little less than half the bag. And it takes one inch of water to get this into the soil after you apply. Now the other thing is you get four months of control with this, so the best time to apply is gonna be sometime around late April into May, any time in there. May is probably ideal. That'll give you four months of protection all throughout the summer. One other thing on the back of the bag here that I just noticed, it does say one application kills and protects for four months. That and is a very important word there, which means if you did have any grubs in here, it says it will kill and then it will protect for future grubs. I don't think this is the best immediate killer. You wanna use the 24 hour grub killer if you actually had an infestation in the lawn. But I do think the fact that this does kill gives you some peace of mind that if there were some here and the lawn is actively growing and they're doing any kind of stunting or whatever, you're taken care of. Let's throw it down. One other thing I did wanna cut in here and say, this product is also labeled to kill sod webworm and army worm. So we've talked a lot about sod worm, webworm in the past. I'll give you a link up top there, as well as it does suppress chinch bug. Big deal here in Florida. I wouldn't count on this as a complete protection, but definitely suppresses. With that, now let's go and throw her down.
All right, there you go. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is an Earthway 2600 A+, my favorite spreader, and the spreader setting that came out perfectly here for Grubex was a 22. We also now have Earthway spreaders, including this 2600 A+, available on our website at thelawncarenut.com. I'll give you a link in the description below. All right, this next product we're gonna use, this is imidacloprid. This is a professionally formulated concentrate. This is $40, and this will cover 46,000 square feet. So just think about that, an acre is 44,000 essentially. This covers over an acre. The last product we used covers only 5,000 square feet, so big difference there. Now this is only gonna give you three months of protection, so this application should be done sometime in late May or June. And that, again, this is for anywhere in the country. You're gonna to wanna to apply this one in June, that way you're, you're protected ahead of time. Now the other thing is it takes a half inch of water to get this in, so you wanna water it in when you're done. And it will also give you suppression of chinch bug, and it's also labeled for suppression of mole cricket, although I have not heard good results there. So I've got my uh, sprayer filled up halfway with water first. I'm gonna cover 4,000 square feet, so that's why I have this four gallon backpack. And by the way, this is not a hose-in sprayer application. This is backpack sprayer, pump sprayer type thing. And we're gonna wanna use uh, a droplet size that's larger. So I'm gonna use the white flood jet tip here because I wanna be able to water this in, so I want the larger droplet sizes. If you need a video on how to use a pump sprayer and all about the tips and all that, I did a really in-depth video earlier this year. I'll give you a link to that below. Now our application rate is 0.6 ounces per gallon and one gallon of spray mix covers 1,000 square feet. So I need six times, I'm sorry, 0.6 times four is 2.4. So 2.4 ounces is what I need to cover 4,000 square feet. Now, one advantage that I have here with this because I'm tank mixing is I can put other products in here that need to be blanket sprayed. So I'm due for a application in Humic 12 here. Since this gets watered in and so does the imidacloprid grub preventative, I can do both in one. So I'm doing 4,000 square feet, so I'm gonna need 12 ounces, three ounces per thousand. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. This is only got, gonna hold eight. So eight ounces there, another four here. There we go, now I get an application of Humic 12 done at the same time as my grub preventative. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of this up and then we're gonna go spray and we're gonna pray. All right, there you go, application completed. Now this is gonna get watered in right away so I'm turning on my irrigation and probably it would have been a good idea to cut the lawn first here because it is pretty long. This is a liquid we want it to water in. So if I would have cut first, you'd think it'd make it easier to water in. So that's something I would have done. One other thing I want to reiterate, when you're doing this backpack and you're mixing, keep in mind the things you mix together, they all need to be products that should be watered in. If it's a product that needs to sit on the lawn, don't mix it with this. But if it's a product that needs to be watered in like the Humic 12, that's something that you can mix together. So that's how you apply the imidacloprid, which one last thing I'll tell you, which is kind of fun. Imidacloprid is actually come from a family of chemicals called neonicotinoids. Neonicotinoids, it sounds like nicotine, doesn't it? Because it's the same kind of chemical family. You guys know nicotine is in cigarettes and things. And what is nicotine? It's an appetite suppressant. And that's how this product works. This neonicotinoid gets into the soil. And so when the grubs are there and they begin to chew on the roots, they eat this nicotine product. It makes them feel full so they stop eating and they die. Just thought that was kind of a neat little tidbit to share with you that that's how this works. With that, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. If you have any comments or questions, leave those below. As always, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the lawn.